And welcome back to the final installment of Logan Paul Makes Austin McBroom Cry. This is part three. Let's see what else little Austin McBroom has to say. Here we go. And I want to take a stand and I want to, you know, take a portion of that lawsuit money and give it to fighters pay. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be dope to do that. Um, and like I said, it's unfortunate because all these fighters deserve what they were what they were owed. Everyone worked their asses off. Every fighter, including myself, we worked our asses off for the last three or four months. And for LiveX Live to hold on to the funds and act like the event was a, wasn't a success. And the crazy thing is, they're going to act like the numbers were low, but now they're jacking my idea and doing their own event in the next two months. That doesn't make any Well, they already planned on doing that. It's on the live stream. <sighs> The owner of LiveX Live said he was going to do that beforehand. But you have the money, bro. Pay them what they're owed. It's that simple. If it's so simple, then do it. <laughs> right? Nah, he wants to blow up even more, get, try and get on Logan Paul and Jake Paul's level with all this drama. And I don't think this is going to make it to court. They'll probably settle out of court. But who knows? Maybe they think they can do it. Um, Let's see what else. Yeah. Any hey, sense to me? Do you so, feel like so we will have been paid? The fighters will you? get paid in the next few months then. Yeah, before the next event happens, the fighters okay. will be paid. Um, has yeah. this put, so you're going to continue putting together fights and not just fighting in them. This whole ha uh, experience hasn't been too. All right, sorry. Ed coming in. Let's see if we can skip this ad. Hold on. Too much of a hassle for you, where you're like, you know what, I don't even want to... No, okay. It's easier oh, to be in the moment. Be in the, the moment. The future is officially taken yeah. care of. With Legal, Legal Booms. Oh, another one? Come on. Here, buy a car. Here. Still continue like I said, social gloves too is coming very soon. Yeah. For everybody that's been supporting, I appreciate everybody. Anybody that wants to fight, hit us up. Oh. KSI fight is gonna be one Will of the live biggest. Will be involved in the next uh, social gloves? Definitely not. That's the fortunate thing is they're supposed to be in this. Long Don't say anybody that wants to fight. It's anybody who has clout, has over a certain amount of millions of followers, that kind of crap. I'm down. Don't do that to people. You lie enough, bro. You con and scam enough. You don't need to, to add that little crap in there. Oh, well, anybody who wants to fight. Yeah, right. You have every jackboot in America coming out there. I can fight. I can fight. Long term, we signed a two, three year deal with them. But the fact that they're trying to take advantage of small entrepreneurs like myself, not only taking it, you're not a small entrepreneur, dude. You're a big scammer, millions of followers, scammer. So is your brother, so is your brother in law. They both suck at fighting, but yeah, well, so do you. So all three of y'all suck at fighting. But hey, let's get some cheating refs in here to make us look good. Did y'all notice that? Did you notice that 
those three fights were the only scam fights where the ref was acting up and they had that certain ref in there. Did you notice that? Advantage of me as a fighter, but all the other fighters, it, it's, it's a shitty situation. And anybody that does their research on LiveX Live, I'm not going to sit here and bash people because that's not, that's not my nature. But if you do your research on LiveX Live, they're in five different lawsuits. They're in debt like $50 million. So it makes sense why they would take advantage of a situation like this. Okay, got you. How's, has Keemstar had anything to say about this? Like, are you um, still cool with him or what's going yeah, on? Yeah, of course. You? Keemstar Keemstar's cool people. What um, about Fousey? Fousey's cool people. All those people are cool, man. Like I said, it's been a blessing because all the fighters actually know what's going on. So not okay. too many of them have lashed out. There's been a few people, you know, talking shit. But I just wanted people to know what the situation was because no one really knows. Right? No one really knows. Like, the rumors can be started up a blink of an eye. And you know what's... If nobody really knows, then how do you know you'll be getting paid within the next few months? So, this was all contrived, obviously. This was all set up. And Austin McBroom was like, oh, hold the money. Hold the money. We can, you know, set up this big old thing to get more eyes on us. And then, oh, magically everybody get paid, and oh, we settled out of court. And then, oh, hey, we're cool again with the Live X Live. Oh, let's do some more events. Oh, no, Live X Live's going to do their own thing, and I'm going to do my own thing, and I'm going to just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, it's all a scam, dude. Anyone who has two eyes, two ears, all that. They can tell. I'm just trying to build your popularity so you can have bigger fights. And probably pay them the next time. With the money that you're supposed to be paying everybody else. So Scam upon scam upon scam. He has the money. Pay the people. He's not going to do that, though. Not right now. Give him a few months. What is it? Four to six months, he said? Something like that? Yeah, four to six months. Well, before December. So, probably three to four months. If he can arrange something that quick. He's good at it. crazy let's see what else he's got funny is like for example logan he didn't get paid anything from mayweather he actually paid mayweather to fight him wow is that true? that's crazy. and now that's a lie look at them big old eyes <laughs> he paid mayweather to fight him wow mayweather had all them sponsors brand deals whatever you want to call it only fans, all that crap. <laughs> and the little vacuum thing and all the all this other weird foreign sponsors. He wouldn't have needed that if Logan was paying him to fight him. <laughs> oh my gosh. You wanna talk about cap, liars, whatever? Jeez, this dude is full of it. What's even the truth? Who cares though? It's entertainment, right? It's entertaining. Entertainment, entertaining to watch, to listen to, to have, you know, your opinions about. We'll just leave it at that. End this little series. <laughs> this is too, too stupid, but funny at the same time. We'll see how the saga continues later on, huh? In other videos, this crazy guy. Oh my goodness. You gotta make up all kind of fairy tales just to make money. All right, that's it. Yeah, have a good one. Believe what you want to believe. Think what you want to think. It's your mind. It's your life. Don't let nobody else control. You. Ooh, see y'all later.